Go ahead. James Erger, Bowling Green State basketball, senior, small forward. James, how did you choose to come to Bowling Green? I chose Bowling Green because uh, Coach Orr has played in the NBA and um, she's a real high character guy. And then the university campus is just um, really nice and lively. And to someone that, you know, outside of basketball, what would you tell someone about coming here as a student, why they should come to Bowling Green? The biggest reason why what I tell someone to come to Bowling Green as a student is the campus life. Uh, you just walk around campus in the spring and the fall and even sometimes in the winter. There's just tons of kids outside having fun and um, just on the, uh, on the grass, just laying out and just very like a family feel where everybody knows each other and is real cool to each other. For someone that doesn't watch uh, a lot of MAC basketball, how would you describe the brand of MAC basketball and what it is? I would describe MAC basketball's brand as just a physical play. Um, it's a grind every game. You never know who's going to win. You could be the t best team in the MAC and lose the worst team because everybody comes every day to play. What, what motivates you personally to excel out on the court? What drives you? Um, what drives me to excel is um, just my devotion to God and to Jesus and also to my team. Um, a lot of the guys here are really close at Bowling Green, and we just love playing for each other, and we always have each other's back. Tell me about Coach Orr and how he is both on the court and then away, you know, outside of practice and games. Coach Orr is a really uh, cool guy. It's interesting because a lot of people, I think, don't get the full concept of him. He's a hard-nosed guy. He wants us to play physical. He gets the idea of that he was, he was a skinnier guy in, uh, in the NBA, but he plays a lot of heart. So he has a lot of heart when he coaches, and he puts a lot into us. And then off the court, he's like a sneaky, funny guy. Um, he'll make random jokes that you don't, sometimes you don't, know, you don't know if it's a joke. So you have to always be on your toes around him. But he's a really fun guy to be around, and uh, just a high-character guy. You never know he's going to mess you around. He's always there for you, too. Talk about the MAC basketball tournament, Cleveland, how that drives, you know, being able to play in an NBA facility and how that drives and motivates you guys to get to Cleveland. Yeah, the MAC basketball tournament is a really cool um, idea they put together at Quicken Loans in Cleveland. Um, I know for us, we're always saying we want to make it to the queue. It's just a cool way to see what the NBA players go through, be able to practice in their practice gym, and just um, you feel like an atmosphere. It's kind of like a smaller uh, March Madness almost because you get to play at a different arena and everybody's there and you're all at a nice hotel and it's, it's like a really fun experience. Uh, and this is a tough one, but outside of your team, and this player could be either someone's playing now or before, but what player in the MAC have you felt has been the most exciting for you to watch? The most exciting player for me to watch outside of the MAC would probably be um, Javon. No, in, the, in the MAC, but outside of PG players. So someone else in the league. Just someone else on the other team, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the most exciting player for me to watch in our league, um, besides our team, would probably be uh, Javon McRae, uh, Buffalo, just because he's a physical guy, and I like watching guys that just stick their nose in there and they play hard. And, um, yeah, he's just kind of a leader of the team, so it's kind of cool to watch him and to see uh, our players go up against him and fight.